Hello, it's Alta Writing Tutorial, and today I'm going to show you how to write a Band 9 essay for Alts Writing Task 2. In this lesson, we'll focus on Agree Disagree essay. So, in this lesson, I'll give you sample Agree Disagree question. Then I'll show you how to decide whether you agree or disagree with the statement and how to generate supporting ideas. And finally, we'll write a band 9 answer together. Are you ready? Then let's go! Here is an example of IELTS writing task 2 question that you can get. Let's read the question card. Big salary is much more important than job satisfaction. Do you agree or disagree? Provide relevant examples if necessary. Write at least 250 words. When you've got a question card, you first have to understand what the question card asks you to do. Usually your question card has a statement and a set of instructions addressed directly to you. In this case, you have to say whether you agree or disagree and provide relevant examples. This is a classic example of IELTS agree-disagree question. Unlike IELTS questions that ask to what extent do you agree or disagree, this question gives you only two possible answer choices – to agree or to disagree. You cannot say that you partly agree in agree-disagree questions. Your opinion must be super clear. Here is a band 9 answer structure for IELTS writing task 2. Our first paragraph is an introduction. In the introduction, you paraphrase the statement and present your opinion. After that comes but a paragraph 1. In this paragraph, you put the first reason, or so-called supporting point, of your opinion. Then comes but a paragraph 2. There you write the second supporting point of your opinion. And finally, you write a conclusion. In the conclusion, you briefly summarize what you have written before. Now you have to choose your opinion. Do you agree or disagree with the statement? You have two possible options. First, you can write that you fully agree that big salary is more important than job satisfaction. Or secondly, you can write that you completely disagree with that. And will your opinion affect your mark? No. While you don't use offensive language or write some very bad things, your opinion doesn't matter to the examiner. And what to do when you don't know which opinion to pick? Just pick the one for which you can generate more supporting points. Supporting point or supporting idea means your explanation of why you chose that particular opinion. Now let's generate supporting points for each of our opinions. Our first opinion – big salary is more important. So, what is our supporting ideas? Why big salary can be more important than job satisfaction? Well, having a job with a high salary makes people feel satisfied, no matter what kind of job they do. That's our first supporting point. And also, money is essential for survival and good living. Ok, that's good. You don't need too many supporting ideas. Two or three supporting ideas is enough. Now let's look at our second opinion. Job satisfaction is more important. How can we support this opinion? Well, job satisfaction gives you a sense of fulfillment. Doing what you like keeps you motivated and therefore leads to a career growth. And money can't buy happiness and it's more pleasant to push you what you're interested in. That's also very good. For our essay, we'll choose the second opinion. So, We'll write that we disagree with the statement and that job satisfaction is more important than big salary. 
After you decided whether you agree or disagree and generated your supporting points, it's time to start writing our essay. Our first paragraph is an introduction. Write your introduction in two sentences. In the first sentence, you paraphrase the statement from your question card. And in the second sentence, you say whether you agree or disagree with the statement. Let's write the introduction together. This is our statement. Big salary is much more important than job satisfaction. We need to introduce this statement to the examiner, but we cannot simply copy it word by word. That's why we need to paraphrase it to convey the meaning with different words. To start paraphrasing, you can use the following expressions. It is argued that. It is considered that. It is thought that. Here is how I wrote the first sentence of our introduction. It is often argued that it is more advantageous to choose a job with high wage, even if it doesn't appeal to you at all. Look at how I performed the paraphrasing. Unlike in IELTS writing task 1, I did not change individual words to their synonyms. Instead, I looked at the overall meaning of the statement and restated the whole idea with other words. What is our statement? Big salary is much more important than job satisfaction. Or, in other words, it is better to take a job with big salary, even if you don't like it. You see? The same idea, with different words. And that's exactly what I have written in my introduction. It is more advantageous. Just means it's better. A job with high wage is a synonym to a job with big salary. And even if it doesn't appeal to you at all, means even if you don't like it. After we've done the paraphrase, we should write the second sentence of our introduction, where we say whether we agree or disagree with the statement. As we have decided earlier, we disagree. So here is what I have written. I completely disagree with this opinion and think that job satisfaction is much more important than salary. As you see, I did not just write I disagree. Apart from that, I extended my opinion and wrote what I think. I think that job satisfaction is much more important than salary. And you should also extend your opinion. So, after you have written that you agree or disagree, clearly state your opinion. So, that's always our introduction. Now we move on to the body paragraphs. For agree-disagree questions, it's good to structure body paragraphs in the following way. In body paragraph 1, write the first reason why you agree or disagree, or in other words, write the first supporting point of your opinion. And in body paragraph 2, write the second reason why you agree or disagree, your second supporting point. Good news is that we have already generated our supporting points, so now we should choose any two of them for our essay. Let's pick this one. Job satisfaction gives people a sense of fulfillment. And also let's pick this one. Doing what you like keeps you motivated and therefore leads to a career growth. OK? Now let's start writing our body paragraphs. I will give you a band 9 template to write a body paragraph. Sentence 1. State the reason why you agree or disagree. Sentences 2 and 3. Explain your reason. Sentence 4. Give an example. 
And sentence 5. Write a short summary of your ideas. So, let's use this template together to write our first body paragraph. In the first sentence, you state your first reason why you agree or disagree. So, this sentence contains the main idea of the whole body paragraph. A good way to introduce the first supporting point is to use phrase firstly or first of all. And here is my first sentence. First of all, I believe that job satisfaction gives people a sense of fulfillment that no money can guarantee. Don't change the order of your sentences in the body paragraph, because your examiner will look exactly at the first sentence to get the main idea of your body paragraph. So make sure that your first sentence clearly states the reason why you agree or disagree. In sentences 2 and 3, we should explain our supporting point. Wait, what does it mean to explain? Isn't it already very clear? Well, the examiner wants you to expand your reasoning. So, to explain the reason effectively, you can imagine that your examiner has no knowledge of the subject at all and you have to explain every detail. So, imagine that the examiner doesn't understand why job satisfaction gives people a sense of fulfillment that no money can guarantee. You have to give him a more detailed explanation. Here is how I wrote it. Even if someone is earning a high salary, but feels tensed and compromises with his conscience, this person won't enjoy his life. While pursuing one's interests, will always bring pleasure and feeling of satisfaction. Now our supporting point is well explained and the examiner is happy. Move on to sentence 4. In sentence 4, you should give an example to support your opinion. Start the sentence with phrase for example or for instance. You can use an example from your own life from history or literature, from the news, and so on. You can even make up your own example. If you don't have enough time to think of an example, it's totally okay to use your imagination and make up a story. But be aware that you should create a logical example. Don't make up some nonsense. So, here is my sentence 4. For example, a lot of famous researchers made their career choices not because of appealing wages, but because they were passionate about science. And our last sentence in the body paragraph, sentence 5, should briefly summarize the ideas of the whole paragraph to strengthen your opinion. Here is my last sentence. That's why it is more important to choose the kind of work that makes you happy as in to look only at high salary. Great! We have finished our first body paragraph! Let's read it all together. First of all, I believe that job satisfaction gives people a sense of fulfillment that no money can guarantee. Even if someone is earning a high salary but feels tensed and compromises with his conscience, this person won't enjoy his life. While pursuing one's interests will always bring pleasure and feeling of satisfaction. For example, a lot of famous researchers made their career choices not because of appealing wages, but because they were passionate about science. That's why it is more important to choose the kind of work that makes you happy than to look only at high salary. Now we can use the same template to write our second body paragraph. So, in the first sentence, we state the second reason why we agree or disagree. Analogous to our first body paragraph, we will use phrase secondly 
to introduce the second reason for our opinion. So, here is my sentence one. Secondly, doing what you like keeps you motivated and therefore leads to a career growth. Now we have to explain that reason in sentences two and three. Again, to make it easier, we'll assume that the examiner does not understand our topic at all. Here are my sentences two and three. In other words, there is a strong correlation between job satisfaction and productivity. People who love their jobs can easily excel in their fields of work and achieve better results than those who put salary on the first place. Look at how I used phrase in other words to indicate that I start writing an explanation. It is a very nice technique. Then we write sentence 4 to support the idea with an example. I decided to use an example of American writer Henry Miller. For instance, Henry Miller decided to leave his everyday job despite a good wage and ventured to become a writer. And after enduring years of ups and downs, he became one of the most famous and well-paid authors of the 20th century. You can see that I wrote my example in two sentences instead of one. It's totally fine. You can make variations to the template, but keep the correct order. And now we have to write the last sentence, where we sum up all the ideas of this paragraph to reinforce our opinion. And here's how I wrote it. Thus, advantages of jobs that keep you satisfied outweigh the drawbacks of a low salary in a long-term perspective. Well done! We have finished our second body paragraph. Now it's time to write the last paragraph of our essay, a conclusion. You can write the conclusion in one sentence. To start your conclusion paragraph, use one of the following phrases. To conclude, in conclusion, to sum up, to summarize. After that, restate your opinion and two reasons that support it. Here is how I wrote the conclusion. To conclude, I strongly believe that job satisfaction is more beneficial than high salary because it makes people happy and motivated. As you can see, I started with the phrase to conclude, showing the examiner that I start writing my conclusion paragraph. Then I restated my opinion. I strongly believe that job satisfaction is more beneficial than high salary. And after that, I briefly stated the reasons for my opinion. Because it makes people happy, my first reason, and motivated, my second reason. The conclusion paragraph shortly summarizes all previous ideas without giving new information. That's why remember, you should not put new thoughts or ideas into your conclusion. You have already put your ideas into the body paragraphs. That's it! We have finished writing our Band 9 essay! You've done a really great job for watching it all! Congratulations! So, here's the final version of our essay with all the paragraphs put together. The whole essay contains 277 words and that's a very good number. Don't forget that you have to write a minimum of 250 words, otherwise you will lose points. But you should find a golden balance between writing too little words and losing points and writing too many words and running out of time. Aim at something between 260 and 290 words. Our Band 9 answer structure for IELTS essay 
will help you to achieve that goal. You can check out a text version of this tutorial on OutSub website using the following link. We also have plenty of other useful IELTS writing tutorials, as well as full IELTS reading and IELTS listening tests. Don't hesitate to check them out! I really hope that you enjoyed this lesson. Thank you very much for watching, and see you soon in another IELTS tutorial!